This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are live on Express. We're also taking your calls this morning on 0839133728. We're talking about jobs and also how to put together your CV. 25% of people in South Africa are unemployed. We're helping you this morning and putting together everything. Career coach Ashley Ann Spencer-Smith is in our studio answering all our questions. Well, the first one I want to know is, you know, when you send out your CV, they usually receive so many. What can make your CV or cover letter really stand out? Keep it short, for one. Don't have too many pages that they have to sift through, because that's wasting time. But the most important thing to do is keep relevant information towards the top, like we had discussed in the last, and make sure that the, you've identified keywords, because recruiters are going through and they're reading through and they're scanning through those keywords to decide whether or not they want to stick with your CV or move on to the next person. So it's really important to make sure that if it's a keyword from the job description, you've placed it right on that front page on the CV. I'm glad you're talking about the front page and, and how to put it together, but do you put it in paragraphs? Do you write it like an essay or do you use bullet points? Use bullet points. They're much easier to read through. Paragraphs get really dense and difficult to quickly scan. Mm. So just think in terms of, of readability of your CV. Leave plenty of white space so that people can get through the information on your document very quickly. Okay. Is it still, oops, sorry. Is it still relevant today to add, um, you know, if you just finished high school or varsity, to add things like I was netball captain or I was first team rugby player? Yeah. Is, uh, is that information still relevant? It is relevant. It is relevant if you've just finished high school or college. Once you kind of work your way up in your career, you'll start to drop those things off your CV. But those are things that actually speak to your involvement, your team skills, that kind of thing. So absolutely use those things. If you've got them, definitely use them. In fact, I encourage high schoolers to think in terms of that. You know, try to go out for those kind of clubs and activities because it's going to help your CV when you're uh, having to apply for jobs. Okay. Well, our uh, experts are in studio this morning. 83 913 if you have a question or comment. We're talking about uh, jobs and CVs and how to put your CV together. Now, I, I have a question, and I'm going to touch on something that's a little bit different. How important is social media when applying for a job or constructing a CV? Now, it would be... Every time I employ someone, I go and look on their Facebook page, what type of tweets and Facebook pictures they post before I employ them. Yeah. How important is that when you're putting your CV together? Do you go offline for a while or do you, <laughs> do you close all those pictures of you Friday night? You know? <laughs> you do. You should. You should. Because you've just stated exactly what every employer is doing. Um, they're going on. They're trying to see what they can find out about you. Because your CV says one thing. They want to know does your bigger life picture actually back up what you said you did? But it's important to use tools like LinkedIn for professional development mm -hmm. because recruiters are going there to find people, but you've brought up a good point about Facebook. If you've got a personal site, it's really important to watch the privacy settings on that site. If you're applying for jobs, make sure that you lock down anything that's personal so that it's not able to be viewed by prospective employers. Okay, well, we're going to stay with you. And also your questions, 83 if you have any questions related to jobs or CVs.